So how old were you when you got picked up by Coventry and how did you feel when it happened? Um, I think I was eight, eight years old, I'd yeah. just turned in nine mm -hmm. and um, well, I was actually trying, trying it for Leicester at the time. Right. I was trying for a few clubs, Leicester, yeah. Aston Villa, Nottingham Forest, but to be perfectly honest, I didn't really know much what was going on at the time. No. I was just playing football because I enjoyed it and obviously I owe a lot to my parents and to my family, my granddad as well, he ferried me everywhere mm -hmm. and they took me to Coventry for a trial. Yeah. And they signed me and another lad from Leicester, Ben Stevenson, on the first night. So, yeah. yeah. Um, what sacrifices did you have to make to become professional? Sacrifices oof, along the way. Well, there's always those sacrifices, maybe your diet, your healthy yeah. foods and things like that. Or maybe staying out late with your friends. Maybe you want to go out, maybe when you get a bit older, going out for a drink, but yeah. you've got a game the next day, so yeah. you can't. So you do sacrifice a bit of your social life. Yeah. But the rewards are worth it in the yeah. end. Um, what made you choose Wales over England as your national team? <laughs> nice little trip up there. Uh, no, well, obviously I've got a Welsh in my family, born in England, but I've got Welsh blood in me. And yeah. to be fair, on my dad's side, I've always been brought up to, especially with the rugby, yeah. brought up to be a, quite a Welsh in that respect. Yeah. And uh, obviously, whenever Wales play England, always yeah. give us some stick to my mates. So <laughs> I'm Welsh, I'm Welsh. Uh, no, but um, obviously they came in when I was 16, they, they spotted me when I was 16 and they gave me a chance to play at a higher level, an international yeah. stage, so I'll forever be grateful for to them for letting me do that and I'll continue to do so, hopefully. Yeah. And do you have any superstitions you have to do before a game? Good question. Oh. No, I don't really. The only one I would say is I always have to put on my left shin pad before my yeah, right. That's what I have to do. You have to do the yeah. same thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Just always done it. Yeah. So um, if I pick up my right, because they have the LNDR, and if I put yeah. my right one, I have to put it back down, left <laughs> one first. Um, how was your time in Yeovil you when you're on loan, and would you be prepared to go out on loan again? Oh, nice. Look at that. Good question. I don't expect to uh, <laughs> No, Yeovil was a good experience. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I played a few games down there. I was only there for two months. Uh, at the time I was going to get in the team at Coventry, so yeah, it was a long way away. It was different. I was yeah. 17 at the time, living away from home, a long way away in the middle of nowhere. Mm. So I definitely um, built my character up and I, I think I'm better for it now. Yeah. And loan-wise now, yeah, um, well, we'll see how it goes, but um, if I can't quite break into the first team uh, in the next few months, then uh, maybe next year yeah. uh, I'll, be, I'll be happy to go on loan. I just want to be playing first-team football. Mm -hmm. Um, if you weren't a footballer, what would you have been? If I wasn't a footballer, what would I have been? I tell you what, these are some good questions, by the way. Thinking about these. Um, to be fair, I was quite uh, bright academically mm -hmm. when I was at school. I worked hard, studied hard, and I was really into my numbers and my maths. Yeah. I was quite good at maths, got an A star in maths, did further maths, done well. So I'd like to thought I'd be going into engineering or something. Yeah. I was quite interested in that, so something to, along those lines. Cool. Um, how did it feel to score at Wembley in front of 74,000 fans? Uh, I'm going to just excuse the old, uh, the old cliches like the best day of my life, yeah. but it was honestly, if I could relive one day in my life, it would be that day. Yeah. It was surreal, like you couldn't write it. You go to bed that week, leading up to it, think, dreaming about how it's going to go, and then I couldn't have pictured it better myself. Cool. Um, what do you do when like, you're chilling out? Chilling out? Well, I play on my PlayStation a lot. Yeah. Oh, all my mates who on PlayStation at like FIFA or Call of Duty or something like that. Or f we're smashing Fortnite at the minute. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no, 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 I like my PlayStation and then obviously go out for food with all my friends and that. And no, yeah, but still do the normal things. Cool. Um, who did you support growing up? Support growing up? Um, I just love football. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't really say I uh, supported any team. I mean, I had a season to get a Leicester for yeah. one or two years, so you'd probably say Leicester, but I grew up in Leicester, went to games in Leicester, so you, you could, I wouldn't call myself a fan though. Mm. But yeah. um, where do you like to go on holiday? Holiday? Oh, a few years ago, I've been to uh, Iron Apple a few times, been to Spain, uh, I like the south of Spain, that's a yeah. good one, that's always a good chill one. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger I used to go to Wales with the family and... The family holidays are always the best ones, the chilled ones by the beach, yeah. and because they're free. Yeah. No. Um, who's the funniest in the dressing room? Funniest in the dressing room? 
Ooh, in the 23's dressing room, I'd have to say it's Hamza, the one with the big oh, afro. Yeah, yeah. He uh, likes to think he's a bit of a joker. <laughs> um, I go to school with his brother. Oh, do you? Yeah, Meda. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. And Hamza's a good lad. He, uh, he likes to play jokes on people and try to wind people up. Yeah. He winds me up sometimes, but no, he's a good lad. Um, you're very versatile. What role do you feel most comfortable to play? Ooh. Me, I'm just like I'm just a player, creative player who uh, likes to get forward and score goals and create chances for people. So I'd like to say I prefer being central as like a number ten. Yeah. You might say we're just off the striker, <laughs> but recently I've been playing off either wing or yeah. even in centre mid. But yeah, I think a number ten role suits me the best. Yeah. Um, who's been the biggest influence on your career and why? Biggest influence on my career. There's a, there's a few for different reasons. These are some good questions. I don't know how you thought about these. Biggest influence growing up, I'd probably say my granddad. Yeah. Just because of all the ferrying around he did for me, yeah. taking me to games, especially I'm living Leicester, mm -hmm. and taking me to Coventry. So I couldn't have done it without him or mum or dad or everyone, everyone who took me to games. So that, that in that respect, football wise, what was the question? Biggest influence. Biggest influence. As in idols was in play um, look ups yeah, or going up. Like who like if they weren't around like maybe it would have been hard for you or Ooh. Okay, when I was breaking into the first team at Coventry, Marcus Tug guy. Oh, yeah. Obviously season pro used to play Sheffield Wednesday, Nottingham Forest, those sort of teams. He helped me a lot, especially because I was trying uh, I was a striker at the time as well. Obviously he's been a very experienced pro. He'd help me give me little pointers, help me on the train, do extras with me after training, yeah. tell me little pointers like when to take one and two touches and when to keep hold of the ball mm -hmm. and yeah, he was a he was a great help for me trying to break into that Coventry team. Cool. Um what's your biggest achievement in football so far? Oh, that would be a no brainer. Yeah. That would be uh yeah. Playing the fuck cup final at Wembley and scoring yeah. goal, just winning a winning a cup final at Wembley. I, mean, I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. I might as well hang on my boots now. <laughs> Um, how does it feel to put on the Welsh shirt and how we break up and break into the first team? At Wales or Leicester? At Wales. At Wales. Yeah, honour every time you put on the badge. I mean, that's the way they, that's the philosophy they have as well. Yeah. And it's just a, whenever you go away with Wales, it's the feel they give you as well. Everyone's Welsh, everyone's proud to be yeah. Welsh. And whenever you put that jersey on, you're doing it for the country kind of thing. So it's always a great feeling. And it's, uh, it's an honour to be a part of it as well. Because it's a great setup, yeah. And um, um, getting into the first team there, well, it's just you've just got to play well for your club, see what you can do, and maybe catch uh, manager's eyes, and see. And when you play for the twenty ones at Wales as well, maybe you get you may uh, just have to play well and see what can happen. Yeah. Um. What's your pre-match meal? Pre-match meal. Pre-match meals are boring. Yeah. <laughs> your chicken, your pasta, your baked beans, your. So I don't have it because I don't like it that much, but scrambled egg everyone has. Yeah. Some people have omelettes to be fair, loads of people have omelettes, but I'm just chicken, pasta, beans, maybe a bit of toast. Yeah. Um, very boring, very basic. <laughs> um, what would you say your like, best part of your game is, like attribute? Or oh, I'd say bringing people into play, getting on the half turn yeah. and bringing people into play, finding little pockets of space to get into and uh, help the team get up the pitch. And obviously, as a forward player, you've got to say scoring goals. Yeah. But that's something I'm going to work on as well because I need to add more goals to my game. Yeah. Um, if you could make a five side Premier League team, who would be in it and why? Current or? Um, do current and then do all oh, time as well. We'll do current. Five aside team. Current, well, you've got to have De Gea in goal. Yeah. He's the best in the world at the minute. Mm -hmm. um, so, De Gea in goal, are we doing a. Four outfielders or five outfielders? Uh, we'll do four, four yeah, yeah. Four is a diamond, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So my defender wouldn't actually be a defender. It would be Kante. Oh, yeah. yeah so he can do, he'll be everywhere. So he'll be sweeping everything up. Oh, even though my favorite, one of my favourite midfielders is Nemanja Matic. Oh, yeah. What a player. Yeah, it's weird with him because like, he just stands there, but like, he's really effective. He's so right? cultured, isn't yeah. he? Um, so he had a Kante. I don't know, it's hard, isn't it? There's so many good players. You've got to have Hazard. Mm -hmm. 
the Kane's the best number nine in the world at the minute, but yeah. I wouldn't have him in my five aside team just because it's a five aside yeah. game. Even though he's got a ridiculous feet. I'd have Salah up top mm-hmm. with Hazard. I think you need a good passer as well, don't you? You need a good passer, so I'm going to go for... Oh, no. Who could it do? Not a... Brian? Kev. Oh, David, David Silva. David Silva. Sorry, yeah. that was so silly. It <laughs> got to be David. Yeah. David Silva, good. Hazard, and Salah at front. The thing with um, Silva is he's been doing it for years as well. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's getting on the. No, yeah, but he's always been quality. He's, that Man City team at the minute is just flying. Yeah. yeah, but that's my team. And the hearing goal can take sweeping. Hazard and David Silva with Mo Salah at top. Cool, and then all time. Yeah. <laughs> What's your plan ones? What I think of my living all time one? Uh, well, I'd say in gold hair and then defender. Um, it's controversial, but I like stones. No, nice. No, yeah. I like that. And I think he'd be good in a five ball, side. Yeah, those. ball playing centre half. Um, and then I'd have uh, De Bruyne mm-hmm. and then another mm. midfielder. It feels like there's so many. Yeah. Oh, you could even have Pogba in there. Yeah. Um, Do you have a front? Um, I really like Kane. I just, yeah, I just Kane's love him. quality. Because <laughs> he's English as well. And mm. um, and then my other midfielder. Um, I'm trying to think of my clipping all the time. I couldn't even name my all-time 11, let alone my no. all-time 5. All-time, you've got to have... You've got to have Schmeichel, really, haven't you? Hmm, you would say so. There's another one, though, that I'm forgetting. Oh, I'm my head and I'm forgetting his name. Who's he playing for? I don't know. I know there's a quality either that I'm forgetting. I don't know. Defender. It's got to be Rio or something, hasn't yeah. it? But not in your five side team, but he's got to be up there. Rio. Oh, I don't know who you'd have because you'd have Vieira, but not in a yeah. five side team. Mm. Maybe someone like Cantona, a bit of flair in there. Yeah, Cantona's a good shout. Or someone like Zola or something. Mm. G Frank as well, or the Canyo or something. No, 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 they're no, no, nowhere near it. Sorry, that was stupid of me. Gigs. Yeah. Was he like big for you growing up? Because he's well. Oh, he's just a massive player, isn't he? Well, was it? He was a bit of, when he was in his prime for Wales. Yeah. He was a bit before my time. But um, or just no, but yeah, Gigs is massive. What <laughs> player? And obviously he's the manager now, isn't he? So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, I can't like five minutes the classic one. You got to play one that will do. Yeah. Um, finally, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, not gonna happen in five years. Mm. Oh, obviously, I won't. I won't do five years, but I'll just every every footballer, well, every footballer's aspirations should be to play at the highest level they can. Yeah. So whether I'll be at the highest level I can in five years, mm. or maybe it might be. Might just not be the highest level I get to, or you never know, do you? So the minute League One's the highest level I've got to, yeah. So obviously I need to work my way up the ladder. So hopefully in five years I'll be at the highest level I could have possibly yeah. could be. Yeah. 